Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, a little bit earlier than the time we usually go online because of the fact that the royal wedding is being carried on CBS News for this morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, keeping you updated as to what's going on with the forecast in and around the Mid-South area. Got a lot to talk about for this morning, nothing immediate happening, but we may be seeing again the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms popping up throughout the rest of the day today, especially this afternoon afternoon and into this evening. We may see some of those storms get strong to borderline severe. It does not look like a widespread severe weather outbreak, but again, if you have any outdoor plans today, picnic with the kids, taking a stroll out there, trying to find a shady spot or any graduation ceremonies, commencement ceremonies, things like that going on, you're going to have to keep a very close eye to what's going on with the weather across much of the Mid-South. Remember, if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are within range of getting struck by lightning and while it may not seem anything like just a trivial issue to see lightning off in the distance if you can see it or hear that thunder, you are within range of getting struck by that thunderstorm, so why risk it? Make certain you get back indoors again to make certain that you are going to be safe out there. We'll have coverage throughout the rest of the day of what's left of the going on with the Royal Wedding over in London which is the reason we're on a little bit early for this morning. If you've got weather pictures, again, drop them to my Facebook page or my Twitter page. We'd love to be able to share them. We'll show you some of your weather pictures coming up here in just a little bit. And also, let's see where you're from. Let's uh, get our locations into the comments section and also your weather reports out there. So if it's sunny in Dyersburg, let's see that. If it's cloudy in Oxford, let's see that. Uh, whatever you've got around the area, let's do some amateur meteorology. If you can't stick around for the entire program, program. All you have to do is look in the bottom portion of your screen and the red bar below me. That's the forecast going on through. Social media in the blue bar at the bottom. 7 to 10 day forecast down here. All available at wrhe.com slash weather. So thanks a lot to everybody for stopping on through. Quick check of the forecast as we go throughout the rest of the day. Again, warming up very rapidly. Temperatures are in the 60s and low 70s right now. We'll be easily back in the upper 70s by the time we hit later on this morning. And upper 80s by lunchtime today, lower 90s by the time we finish things up. Now, I don't think it's going to be a complete and total washout for the weekend, but I do think that it is going to be, again, the potential for some showers and thunderstorms out there, which means, again, some haphazardly scattered activity could cause some problems and some delays or postponements out there. So please keep that in mind. Again, you may get a thunderstorm in, say, South Haven and not get anything in Whitehaven or Olive Branch. You may get something in and around Millington and not get anything around Arlington. They're going to be that scattered across the area. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing, again, anything outdoors for right now. 68, Jeffrey Griffiths in Senate. Tobia, thank you very much. Two-point typeface and bifocals don't work too well. Rita Allen, sunny and mild in Wynn, Arkansas. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Anne-Marie Fraser Heaslett. We'll talk more about the forecast for Collierville and every place else out there, so stay tuned for more on that. Uh, good morning from Dyersburg. Sunny out there. Uh, Tony Kyle, fake news. No, this is weather, and uh, if you want to watch Fox News, that's entirely up to you. But uh, thank you for stopping by and increasing my ratings on here for your uh, comments. Do appreciate that. Corinth, Mississippi, Janie Champion, thank you very much uh, for joining us for this morning. Sunny around Heidelberg Elementary and around the Clarksdale area this morning. A few clouds drifting on through, but really not seeing much of anything else. Sunshine in the Grove in Oxford. Very busy place a week ago today as the 160 65th commencement from the University of Mississippi took place in and around that area. From Rhodes College in Memphis, a lot more clouds earlier, but a little bit more blue skies out there and some of those clouds shading the buildings from some of that sunshine in and around the Mid-South area. And a beautiful morning, a little warm out there, but Shelby Farms Park looking pretty nice. A few joggers, strollers, and bike riders out there for this morning, so pretty quiet into and around the area for right now, and should be staying that way again throughout much of the rest of the day. If you are going to be doing anything outdoors for today, just also remember that water, again, to put back what your body sweats away because it is going to be decently warm and steamy out there. So I want to make certain you put back what your body sweats away just to be on the safe side. So please keep that in mind. Traffic in and around I-240 and Poplar from our Hilton East Memphis camera. Poplar Park, 
quince overpass everything moving along pretty nicely in this location pretty bad accident around Mount Moriah and the 240 exit earlier this morning but as of right now that has been cleared up and no signs of any backups on the TDOT smartway system around the metro area so looking very quiet into and around the area for right now Danny Brown from Arlington welcome to the show Dyersburg Brent Simmons 69 degrees and sunny thank you very much uh, for that one, and thanks to everybody else for joining us. A few hotty toddies from the Old Miss crowd out there this morning. Laura Holstrom, hope I'm saying that right, and Josh Holbrook, welcome to the show. Thank you very much on that. Storm Tracker 3S radar, nothing showing up in and around the Mid South area, and a few minor bees flowing through here for right now. Okay. I have to remember to keep the door closed at some point. Storm Tracker 3S, nothing showing up at this point, but we will be seeing again the potential for more activity popping up. I would say anything past about 9, 10 o'clock this morning, we could see some isolated activity. We're going to see the best possibility of anything involving activity for right now, mainly in southeast Arkansas and around northern Mississippi at first, but some of that could stray into southwest Tennessee into and around much of the Mid-South area, so we could be seeing some problems there. Now, throughout the rest of the area, even farther beyond that, we don't have anything really occurring at this point. We have some showers and thunderstorms off the East Coast down into the Deep South the area here. We're going to be seeing the possibility of even more thunderstorms, and this is where we could see a lot more active weather. Birmingham, Atlanta, Savannah, could be the possibility of some storms around Knoxville into around the Carolinas. So if you're traveling this direction, anything north of the Florida Panhandle all the way up to around D.C. could be looking at some stronger activity later on. We'll be seeing some more minor chances of showers and thunderstorms, and the flow of moisture coming in is going to be very warm, very stable. So we are going to see, again, some of those very warm temperatures out there. It's not that bad at this point. Coffee, Laura Hallstrom, very good suggestion. I've got mine back there. I tried bulletproof coffee for the first time. That was a unique experience. Have to try that again at some point. Mid to upper 60s to lower 70s into around the area. These are some of the warmest temperatures we've got right now and going to be going upwards from here. So some very warm numbers coming our way throughout the rest of the day today. Winds picking up, not really doing much more than just kind of stirring the humidity around more than anything else. Running the numbers into the rest of the day. Again, the moving lines on screen, that is, again, what we see in the way of winds out there for the Mid-South area. And the green chances, the darker green it gets toward yellow and orange when that happens, is the better chances of showers and thunderstorms. So lesser chances in the light green, darker green, again, to the brighter colors that pop up from time to time. That's going to be the best potential of anything involving rain or thunderstorms. And, of course, the time clock up here so you can keep track of what's going on. West Tennessee here. Here, North Mississippi here, East Arkansas here, and Memphis right smack in the middle for our forecast area. Again, the chances of this happening throughout the rest of the day, it's nothing really huge. Scattered chances for the most part, and again, some of that could wander into eastern Arkansas. We'll keep you updated on that uh, throughout the rest of the day as we go into the rest of the next several hours. But I would not be surprised to see more of those showers and thunderstorms popping up from time to time in the Mid-South area, so definitely want to keep an eye out for that. Through dinner time tonight, again, still pretty warm out there. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 80s, and we'll continue to see some decently warm conditions right on in through overnight. We don't see much changing. We may see a a downturn in the possibility of showers and thunderstorms through News Channel 3 at 10 tonight and then picking back up again with the chances of showers and thunderstorms again tomorrow. So again, get out of here. Shoo, go on. Figure we'd have the bees trained a little better around here by now. As of right now, looking again, the possibility of these showers and thunderstorms out there later, but not for now. And again, the possibility of this continuing right on in through church, Sunday school, lunchtime into tomorrow, whichever direction you happen to be going. And again, temperatures very much on the warm side. Now, the extra cloud cover and rainfall when it pops up out there might shade the area a little bit. So we might see temperatures a little bit better in the mid to upper 80s instead of the 90s, but again, with all that humidity out there, it's not going to be much of anything in the way of a lot of comfort, but we might kind of take the edge off the heat a little bit anyway, so that's some fairly good news anyway. Welcome to everybody who's joining us on the show this morning. Nancy Barnett, Cleveland, Catherine Archibald, Mike Anderson, uh, Markeisha Morlet. hope I'm saying that right, thank you very much, and Dominic Ciara Mitaro. Hope I'm saying that correctly. With a name like Onik, you think I would know a little bit better on pronunciations. Through Sunday evening, again, spotty chances of showers and thunderstorms, and still very much on the warm side out there. So again, pushing 90 degrees today. 
Not exactly record-breaking, but not exactly cool either. And this forecast is going to be seeming frighteningly familiar. I would say boring, but that's just me. And again, I prefer a little bit more variety in the forecast. But if you like stable weather, this is what it's going to wind up being, mid to upper 80s to round about lower 90s. And that's about as cool and or as hot as it gets over the next several days. Each and every single day, we'll have the possibility of some thunderstorms out there through the afternoon and evening, and again, mainly into around the warmest parts of the day. When the sun shines down to the surface, during the daytime, you can't have enough energy overnight to get thunderstorms going, but when the atmosphere becomes a little bit more turbulent after the sun shines on it, that's the best possibility of these thunderstorms popping up from time to time. So that's where we see, again, the potential for more showers and thunderstorms out there throughout the course of the next several days, and that's why we're expecting most of these in the afternoon and evening. Wouldn't hold it out of the realm of possibility that we get a thunderstorm or two in the morning, but most of this is going to be in the afternoon for your planning purposes. So again, we've got these chances down here. Usually we put an AM or PM in there. Again, it's possible for the morning, but more than likely into the afternoon. And again, we'll keep an eye on that over the next several days. Now, toward next Monday, not this Monday, but next Monday with the Memorial Day holiday coming up, so far, things are looking pretty good. So again, for local outdoor dedications, parades, remembrance ceremonies, anything like that going on, so far, things are looking okay. So numbers, again, back in the lower 80s, that's pretty close to normal. Should be a decent amount of sunshine, and so far, not looking at anything in the way of rainfall or thunderstorms. So definitely some good news on that. But we will be keeping our eyes on that forecast as well right as we go into June. And that also brings up hurricane season. So we're not quite there yet, but we are watching for an area down into and around the southern Gulf of Mexico, right off the Yucatan Peninsula. This could be an area where another system starts. It's more of a kind of a depression in the atmosphere just moving along. But if it spins up enough and it gets enough energy, the Gulf of Mexico's surface temperatures right now are very warm. Not quite bathtub warm, not like what we saw with things like Katrina, but it is decently warm. So this area could spin up something in the next, say, five to ten days. Nothing immediate, so if you've got any plans to travel from anywhere from Brownsville back toward Fort Myers and anywhere in between, again, this bears watching. Even though we are not in hurricane season, we could easily have hurricanes outside of hurricane season. If conditions are right, we can have that happen. Same way we can have tornadoes in Salt Lake City or Alaska. They can happen. So again, if, depending on when the conditions are right. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on that. Now, expressly for the Gulf, the Caribbean, and the Atlantic, so far the National Hurricane Center is not showing any development at this point for the next several days. At least that's the way it looks like for right now. But again, these forecasts, depending on the next edition of the computer models, can change a lot. So if you have a cruise, a reunion someplace, East Coast, Gulf Coast, down to the Caribbean, this is the time of the year you got to pay attention to what's going on with what's happening out there. It may not be directly affecting the Mid-South area, but the reason we do this forecast right here is to keep you informed if you or anybody you know is traveling. So if you don't like this part of the forecast, that's great. You can get all the information you need about right here at wreg.com slash weather, and we'll keep bringing this to you to give you an idea as to what's going on with weather out there. All right, weather pictures from around the Mid-South. Thanks to everybody for sending along some good ones out there. SSTF 102, nice view from in and around the area of Highway 64 and Stage Road as some of those afternoon thunderstorms bubbled up out there. Thank you very much for that. Frequent contributor Louis Haskett, nice view of sunrise from earlier this morning uh, into and around the area of northeast Arkansas. And from earlier this week, that's nighttime photography of a lightning flash, if I'm not mistaken, from MS Storm Spotters, from Mississippi Storm Spotters, from Chuck Wicker. Thank you very much uh, for that as the lightning blares out there and lights up the sky late at nighttime. So a nice view there from early into and around the area from Highway 30 in East Lafayette Counties. Uh, Lafayette County is about 9.45 p.m., so that's what lightning can do bright and early into the evening hours, especially on the bright side of things right there. If you've got pictures, I want to see them so I can feature them on Netcast and, of course, on our newscast as well. All you have to do is join me on my Instagram page, Twitter, or Facebook, and I'll be able to feature them on there. 
I can't show them if you don't send them, so please send them along. We'll be glad to have you along for the ride there. If you're away from your computer or your tablet, cell, cell phone, smartphone, whatever, and you want to check the forecast, tune in to Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 and we'll keep you updated on the radio throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. And, of course, we'd we'll love to have you along for the ride on all the social media channels that I'm on. Still trying to figure out Snapchat, but I'll get there eventually, so hang on with me on that, and I'll let you know more about that later on. But in the meantime, if you have any questions or concerns, email me, again, right here, austin.onic at wreg.com, and love to know a little bit more about what you've got in store. Or if you want to see something on here, that's great. Let me know about if you want to see more satellites, more weather around the world, more climate data, whatever it is you want to see, let me know, and I'll run it by my supervisors and see what they say, and we'll go from there. So again, great to have you along. Again, on a little bit early this morning with a special coverage of the Royal Wedding. So we are on Anytime Channel. If you'd like to get to go to that, go to WREG.com and click on the Watch Now button in the upper, I believe, left-hand corner. Big red button. You can't miss it. It could be an opportunity to be able to watch our last newscast on there with myself and co-anchor Nina Harrelson so you can see more information about what's going on in and around the Mid-South there. And, of course, we'll have more tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10 and throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 and on social media as well. Anything else, again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the weekend live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you for joining us for this morning's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for a lot more throughout the rest of the weekend.